How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to install Invisible Shield on your Kindle Fire. And I'm using the uh, Invisible Shield by Zag. Um, this is literally like the number one selling Invisible Shield for the Kindle Fire. Or basically for any tablet. Okay, it's the best in the market. And I want to give a little explanation before we start. So the first thing is, um, this shield sells the most out of any other one and it only comes with one in the box okay now what does that mean it comes with one because the one it comes with is all you need okay if you install it right you should never have to take it off and if you do have to take it off guess what on the packaging right here it shows that you have a lifetime guarantee so you can literally send it to the company and they will actually send you a new one okay so I encourage you you know this brand is a little bit more expensive so you may want to check online to purchase it but uh, it's definitely worth it, and um, I use this same one for my iPhone, and I remember once I had it on for literally nine months, I was in Big Bear, I'm rolling around the dirt, and you know, it never came off. So I'm going to show you how to install it here. If you do it right, then um, it'll last you for a long time, all right? Then you don't have to buy those off brands that three come in the package, but uh, those three only last you for a couple weeks and it always looks crappy. So let's go ahead and rip this... Uh, tab open here okay so let me go over what comes in it so you will get the shield this is a little cardboard so shield is here spray you get a little um, smoother which allows you to smooth out the, um, the shield after you put it on it comes with water because you're supposed to use water when you put it on See, a lot of the cheaper brands don't come with anything, but you still need to put water on them in order to have them be installed effectively, or if not, you end up having to put it on um, more than one time. Okay, so here's our Kindle here. And so step one is uh, you always want to clean the screen off. Give it a good clean because if there's any type of dust or residue on there, then it'll show up on your shield and it won't set right. So... What I usually do is uh, just kind of clean it without spraying it first. If I can get it clean without, then I'll do that. But if I can't, then I'll spray it. So give it a good clean. Get all those fingerprints off of there, all that dust. And the time in between you clean it and put the shield on has got to be quick because you don't want any dust can fly on it really quick. Okay, so see that? And that's good right there. Okay, nice and clean, no dust. Okay, so now we're gonna take the shield here. Okay, you may wanna lay a tile down just because this can get a little messy. So there's gonna be a layer above the actual shield. So you wanna take that off first. Okay, so that's not, that's just crap, okay? And this little piece came off here. All right, so now this is the actual shield right here. Okay, so what you want to do, now you want to, see I got a little piece of dust that already flew on there. There we go. All right, so now take our solution. Okay. And you want to just wet the shield up. You want to wet the screen actually. Uh, turn your Kindle off. Set it so that it goes off. Hold down the power button and hit shut down. Better if it's totally off, just you know, we will be wetting it, but don't worry, it'll be okay. And again, you have to wet it to make sure it's done properly, so don't even worry about it. So, last quick check for dust. I think we got everything. So now we're going to spray the screen. Let's kind of get it wet there. Okay. I like to wet it up nice and good. Now I usually wet my fingertips because I'm about to touch the screen and so I don't want my fingers to get stuck on the shield here. So now take the shield and peel it. I'm going to just peel it off nice and easy. Okay. Uh oh, don't drop it. That was a very bad thing to do. So 
if this happens to you, be scared. It's all good. Just peel it, separate it. It's sticky, so this is probably the worst thing I could have did. But I'm still filming because I want to show you how to get out of it in case this happens to you. There we go. All right, so now we've unstuck it. And so now this is the sticky side. So you want to spray it. Okay, and you want to spray it really good. Get it nice and wet on there. Okay, and now you want to place it. Now we start from the top. There's a little hole here. You want to mash it up in the corner. So you got to line it up at the top, or if not, the bottom will be lopsided. Okay, so got to keep going until it's totally set. And then we can lay it and just kind of it comes and falls right down like that. All right, and now we're going to spray the top. Okay, take this part right here and we're just going to press it just like that. Okay, go right across and it just seals, seals right on there. Okay. And now we'll do the left side. Okay. And that's it. We did a really good job on this one. Normally it's a lot of fuzz and stuff in the middle. But this actually looks really good. I say actually because you got to do a couple before you really get good at this. But uh, this first shot was perfect. So... There it is, that's how you install your shield. Now a couple things to note afterward. You may see some bubbles underneath the screen uh, or some areas that may look a little bubbly. Um, use this to kind of push those out, kind of smooth it out. You may have just gotten some dust under there. So worst case scenario, you may have to pull your screen off, respray it and put it back on again and line it up straight. Um, also, you don't want to put your Kindle Fire back into a case for 24 to 48 hours. You want to let that shield really seal itself onto the front. That's kind of the problem people have is that they put these shields on and they put it in the case and the case begins to rub against it and it comes off. Okay, so um, beware of doing that. Uh, you can use it. Don't get me wrong. You can use the Kindle. You just cannot... Put it in a case for at least 24 to 48 hours. You can give it time to seal itself on there. So then it's totally on there. Okay. Now in the box will come a warranty card as well. This is kind of the little instructions. But it's also the warranty card. And it kind of explains. You have to go online and actually register it. And um, um Again, if you have any problems, you can actually take it, ship it in to Zag, and then they'll send you a new one. That's what why it has that lifetime guarantee on there. So, um, in a nutshell, that's how you install the Zag Shield on your Kindle Fire. Hope that was helpful. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And uh, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. And have a good one.